Ciao, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving from Sicily and a big welcome back to my honey bunny. He's back in Sicily. I want to thank Jim Ingram today for taking such good care of the bunch, though, in my absence. Jimmy, you did a good job. You did a good job. And happy Thanksgiving to all. Hey, I want to just say a big, big thank you to you guys, to all our YouTube fans and our Facebook fans, all our supporters. I am so grateful for you, so grateful that you keep watching us, supporting us, and all of that. So that's number one. Number two, I was really thinking about this, Alfred. What are some of the things that I'm really grateful for? And, you know, besides family and friends and so forth, I have to say, I'm really grateful to Sicily because in 2014, when I first came here and knew very little about Sicily, after I got to learn so much from her and, of course, Alfred and the Sicilian people, I've gotten so much. My heart is filled. So I am very grateful for Sicily, for all its treasures, its people, its places, and it continues to fulfill my heart. And it is an honor, an absolute honor, to be able to share Sicily with you guys. So that's what I have to say. I'm thankful for other than my family, which is number one, and Esther, which is number one A, comma. <laughs> I'm thankful for our viewers who have been faithfully tuning in to us since we started. Over one point, almost 1.4 million views. We have 7,000 people on subscription. Am I correct? So this is a first. 26,000 friends on Facebook. And who are we? We're just two <laughs> expats that have come here that try to bring you honest, truthful stories. So I want to tip my hat. I don't want to take it off today because it'll fall off. <laughs> I want to tip my hat to you, and I'm thankful to you. And so is Esther. But wait a sec. This is a first. We both agree. That first number one thing is our fans, right. and we agree. This is definitely. a first. I definitely Mark that agree. down. We have agreed upon that. Uh, so you know, I, you know, we have to tell this joke. Al, you have to tell this joke because you tell it every year, and you tell it so well. So people ask you, if they celebrate Thanksgiving in Sicily, and what do you say? No, we don't sell. Why? Because it goes from Wednesday right to Friday. There's no Thanksgiving. Obviously, Esther. There's <laughs> you no gotta Thanksgiving. tell that joke. There's no Every Thanksgiving year, in we gotta Sicily. Tell that it's joke. not a holiday. It's a regular working day. They have other holidays, like in December. There'll be a holiday for anything. December eighth. Is the, the feast. What is that? Feast of the Assumption? Immaculate, Immaculate Conception. conception. Right? Don't forget, we're going to go serve food at one of the churches that we donated money to on December 8th. We're going to go to Mass and Church. Speaking about donating money, did well, you, we just donate some today to somebody? We donated to uh, one of the churches in Enna and also in Bagaria. So, so we got two more out today. We're doing pretty good with that, huh? So let me just go back to right. Turkey. So I went to <laughs> the supermarket a few days ago. Because you kind of, you know, turkey is not something that everyday people yeah. eat. You know, they do eat it. They do have it here. But it's not as big as it is in the United States. So I had to pre-order the turkey. And I went today. And I just got, what did I get? A brontosaurus I, leg. It's a, the biggest it's, turkey leg I ever Just saw. a leg. I just said a leg. Just one leg. Five pounds. Take a look at this turkey. It is five pounds. Just the leg. Just the leg. The turkey. And then when I was standing in line, the people behind me, they're like, oh, wow, look at that big uh, piece of turkey. And I said, oh, it's Thanksgiving. Giorno ingresato in American. Oh, yeah, yeah. Taquino, taquino. So even the people behind me, because they're used to buying it into little pieces. They're yeah. not used to buying a whole turkey leg like we did. How do you so cook it? Was, How do you cook it? I'm what, putting it in the oven, in the oven. with orange juice salt, pepper, a little bit of hot pepper flakes, and some oregano. Maybe I'll use that fresh thyme that I got up in Noto. Um, and that's it. And, and what we'll do you do? You, you, you bake it? Of I course. mean, you, okay, you bake it? Yeah, we bake it. And then? And then you just, you know, you take the juices. Uh, to make gravy, I put a little bit of um, flour, heat it up, you know, mush it up, salt and, and that's it. Salt and, and what pepper. else are we going to have besides turkey? We're going to have cranberry sauce, and I'm making my mom's famous potatoes, which is delicious, right, with the uh, mashed potatoes, and you mash them up, you know, salt, pepper, one egg, a little bit of milk, um, you know, and you 
mash it up, mash it up. Then you put it in the, oh, I forgot one ingredient, the cheese, a little bit of grated cheese in there. And then you put it in the oven for about 30 minutes. Then you take it out, put a little bit more cheese on top, grated cheese on top. Bake it for another 15 until the top is crispy and voila. Oh, and I'm making my famous apple pie. So we're having a traditional uh, Thanksgiving dinner yeah. with turkey and all the fixings. I want to thank J uh, Jimmy again for um, surprising me. I came home and there was actually a couple of things of... Uh, Cranberry sauce, ocean spray cranberry sauce. You love that stuff. Stuff is great. They don't sell. They don't sell cranberry sauce. But on the other side of the t story, as Esther bought me today some Caesar salad dressing for the first time in the market. When I was in the states, I was on this kick of eating uh, salad. Mm -hmm. Can you believe it's salad? I can't believe it's, those words came out of my mouth. Can I just tell you how <laughs> shocking that is? Because when I'm here, iceberg I lettuce eat, too. I eat lettuce every day. It's like, no, 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 I don't want to. Yeah. Only, only if there's blue cheese but, dressing, and he goes on the salad. The, and um, and he leaves me, and he has salad. But what? the long and the short <laughs> of it is, I, I went to this restaurant, Grassfields, in Andover, Massachusetts, and they had chicken Caesar, chicken Caesar salad with the salad mm. and, the, and the croutons. And on top of it, they slice up the broiled chicken. It was so delicious, right? I went back again. It was the only place I went back twice in the States. I had it with the steak tips on top of it. So she said to me that I could do it over here. So she found today some Caesar salad And dressing. you know what else I'm going to do for you? What? I'm going to make some croutons. I bought some fresh bread. I'm mm -hmm. going to slice it up, a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, and oregano, maybe. Esther, I can't believe how expensive or maybe if Mama are Sicily's States. watching, maybe if Mama Sicily's yeah. watching with her cooking channel, send me a... A recipe for croutons. Would love to know how you make it. I can't believe how expensive the markets are in the states. Yeah. I mean, just just generally, things are expensive. Although you know, people were complaining about the price of gas. Honestly, I filled up the Toyota Rav. We have a Toyota Rav there. That's this Toyota yeah. Rav. The whole thing cost me thirty three bucks to fill. I spun over here fifty bucks on my, you know, junky yeah. car here, and I get like a half a tank. It was crazy. So, so can I, yeah. Right. So I'm glad you came home. Uh, I want to know how your trip went. Uh, what did you have to do? All the things that you had to fill out. Of course, we keep telling people about the travel locator, right? They asked for that. Yep. You had to have a negative test, yep. right? What else? Listen, I have to warn you folks, okay? We used, or at least I used, orbits. Mm-hmm. Okay, which I'm not going to do again. Esther loves orbits because she gets the points and all this stuff. I like to go direct. So we bought the ticket through KL. She bought the ticket through KLM, partnered by Delta. So on the way over, I flew uh, KLM, no problemo. Lots of room, about 40% filled, 60% empty. On the way back, I flew Delta. Beautiful plane. It was at uh, three, Airbus 330. A lot more room than the Boeing, by the way. Uh, Plenty of room. I had a whole aisle, uh, my whole aisle, four yep. seats. I put the seat, the things down, and I was able to sleep for a few hours. But they charged me seventy-six dollars to check in one bag. And when I made, I was this, out of my mind. Wait a sec. What you didn't tell them is that when I made the reservation on Orbitz, it said one luggage included. But what we didn't see in the small print is yeah. the airline is subject to. Uh, charge you more for luggage if they deem. So the bottom line is he didn't fly KLM, he flew Delta back here. They're and partners. they charge and they charge yeah, him. And I'm not sure that would be different if you went through KLM because they still partner with them. They don't have a flight. KLM doesn't have a flight during that time. They may have to do Delta anyway. You know, I don't know, but I really like KLM. I like the whole history of that airline founded in nineteen ninety four and the best thing I like E Flying to Sicily, I mean, that's the only route I'm going to do. Yeah. From Boston to Amsterdam, Amsterdam to Catania. It took an extra two hours, that's it, but it's worth it to go there and see that um, terminal. The terminal there. That's a fun oh, one. They had a, a cheese terminal. They have a cheese shop there and in the terminal. I was. I wanted to just load it up. It was <laughs> I'm surprised. And tulips. They Wait have a, a tulip shop. Why there. didn't you bring you your favorite cheese? I can't believe it. Or you didn't bring your cookies. Wait. Well, why didn't you bring your cookies? Honey, it's because I loaded up my carry-on with 
French perfume for you <laughs> because I it's love true. it. Jean Paul Gaultier. I got the new mm, one smell me, and the class. <laughs> mm, I got Jean Paul. Uh, I love that that's stuff. That's my that's my go to for Esther. She uses the classic, which is so good. You just want to. Sometimes I just want to bite her. But <laughs> anyway, they came out with a brand new scent this year. And my favorite scent is a Givenchy, Givenchy, or however you say it. And I got my my bag, so we kind of re, you know, replenish that stuff. Although, like, I'm really uh, into you know Old Spice stuff like that. Somebody no, gave me a bottle less. of Brut. I'm gonna wear Brut, <laughs> but for my everyday stuff, when I'm hanging around the house, I use the cheap stuff. But when I go on, boop boop. But anyways, Givenchy came out with a new thing too. The lady gave me a little. You know, those little sample glass things. I love those things. little samples. I always mooch them all the time. She gave me one called Givenchy Gentleman, and I put it on, man, and I'm telling you what, when I was in Massachusetts, I put that stuff on, all the women were, like, looking at me, and I'm talking about the young women. I was oh like, God, I got to get this stuff. Oh, my God. Anyway, <laughs> so let me go back to my shopping spree a little uh. bit to get the turkey. So I stopped in to get a little bit of coffee at one of the pasticherias, uh, and the panettones are out. And take a look at this video. The panettones are out. Look at this pistachio one. Buongiorno, Maria. E dentro? Dentro c'è crema pistacchio, e sopra c'è croccante con Nutella pistacchio, e poi tutte le pistacchio di bronze e cioccolato bianco. Look at that. Stuck with pistachio cream and then pistachio from Bronte on top. You can tell the difference in the color of the pistachio. And then there's Nutella in there. E questa è con... Questa è Kinder Cereali. Kinder. Kinder Cereal. Kinder Cereal. Nutella bianca. White chocolate, white Nutella. Riso soffiato. E tu qual preferisci? Io questo. Ooh, she likes the chocolate one. Which one do you guys like? Do you like the pistachio or the Kinder? Let us know. Facciamo anche le spedizioni. Li spediamo se serve, li mandiamo. So you can get the ship. Wonderful. Quanto costa? Questo 35. 35. Per uno? Sì, però è un chilo e mezzo. One and a half kilos, that's about three pounds. Wow, much worth it. All right, we're going to get one, and we'll try it. We'll report to you back. Grazie. Ciao, grazie a te. Alfred, I got to tell you, so this woman, where we at, her heart is really in Sicilian products as well. She also has a travel agency, and she does, yep, and she does uh, tours for Italians that come here, and she said, you know, if you guys ever want to partner up, we can work together. She also has some guys, but imagine that. So I went in there, and they make their own panettones in there. Now, 35 euro for a panettone, you know, compared to the other panettone that we buy, that's a little bit steep, but it's quality panettone, it looked like, and also it's made right there. So I think it's worth it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Listen, there are panettones and there are panettones. In the United States, you could buy a panettone at one of those traditional supermarkets for like 10 bucks, okay? Yeah. And by the way, if you have to buy one in the States, Bioli, Bioli is the best brand, or Tre Marie. Yeah. Those are the two you ought to stick to in the States. Uh, and you could buy cheap ones. There's some over here that cost three bucks. You can use them as a football. They bounce, they're terrible, they're awful. They're all full of preservatives. Yeah. The good ones, however, like this woman's, 30 bucks is because, for example, they use pistachios. Euro. Euro. They use pistachios from Bronte. And a lot of them, okay, they use choc chocolate on top, white chocolate. Nutella. It was just, I'm, I'm going to buy one. We're going to buy one. We're yeah. going to buy one for our party when we have our group over here. That's that. We uh, should taste one before. <laughs> you know, my friend, my friend uh, in. Uh, Let me put it to you this way: I want to taste one yeah. before. There's, there's my friend that's up in what's that uh, hill place we go to up there? Mister, can't think of his name. Bachi Galupo or someplace like that. Where? They're starting to make expensive panettones, and they instead of using butter and stuff, they're using extra virgin olive oil. Yeah, olive oil. That's in uh, Casabuono. Yeah. Yep. Bono. Yep. That's right, because Jimmy went up there and he saw that. All right, I want to know where you guys are spending Thanksgiving and what are you guys having for turkey dinner? 
Are you guys having turkey or something else? You know, some people like, uh, I know some people are having lasagna on Thursday. What's the weirdest uh, Thanksgiving turkey you had? Did you ever have like a weird turkey? A weird turkey? No. No, just normal turkey. (laughs) Have you ever had the one in the beer batter? No. I had one time one deep deep fried in a big vat. Yeah. um, And Randy made one. You, you you take it and you put it in a deep fryer. It cooks in like an hour. It would How crusty it on taste? the it was delicious, really? crispy on the outside. You know there are some people that put um, beer on top of the mm-hmm. turkey to bake it. The worst one I ever had was in Rome, when I had Jennifer come to see me that time. She was studying yep. in Amsterdam. Boiled turkey. The damn thing was boiled. We disappointed. Now, listen, didn't you wrong. one time uh, try to buy a turkey and put it in the oven here? Because you saw how big the leg is, right? The, how big is a big turkey? Because the happened? ovens here are very small, right? So my, what happened? Didn't my you try next and door get neighbor, one? My next door neighbor was the guy who ran the commissary uh, at Siganella Naval Station. And I couldn't find a whole turkey. My kids were here that year, too. They All don't of sell them. them here. So he says, oh, I'll get you one. Don't worry. He brought me one from SIG. And it was frozen in nitrogen. The damn thing was like, I looked at this thing. I said, Jesus, I got to have to start Nick last week. To, you know, it took me five days to thaw it out. I mean, this was the hottest thing I ever saw, right? And I put it in the sink. And as each day went by, it got bigger and bigger and uh. bigger and bigger. It got <laughs> so big by the time it was done. I knew it wasn't going to fit in the in, the, in my um, my stove, right? It was way bigger than the stove. The, What'd the you big. do? So I ended up. I, and my my mom was alive then, and I called her up. I said, "Hey, listen, how do you make the um, turkey um, when you cut it up?" And you so she gave me this recipe. You cut up the turkey, and you put uh, salt, pepper, um, olive oil all over the turkey, and you put a lot of rosemary on it. Oh, and rosemary. That's rosemary. right. Rosemary, and that. and then you put, you put uh, in the pan, uh, potatoes with salt, pepper, olive oil, and rosemary and onions, and just bake it. Mm-hmm. So everything fit by cutting it up, and it was one of the. And I cooked it crispy too. Not I hate raw turkey. Oil. I like it just a certain way, and it came out good. My kids, you like it very, burnt. very good. Yeah, you like it burned. You like all that stuff. Burnt. One thing I'm gonna look for though this weekend. I've been on a hunt because I I want to have some uh, lamb. Right now the lamb. Well, is all I over went. The place. I know. Nope, I went to the store, and the, oh, the guy I want said, some lamb. "No, the guy said it's still too expensive for him to bring it in." I asked today. I said, "Do you have agnello?" He said, "No, troppo caro. It's too expensive." So. There you go. It's unconstitutional. Huh? What are you talking about? Expensive limb. They're all over the place. Hey, you found out some info about the guy that owns all this land, didn't you? So I ended up going to church with my friend uh, Vanessa to a new church. Usually I like to go to Achitessa, but she said, you know, I'm going to a new church. And it was actually a small, small chapel built in the 1500s by the Bonacorsi family, a noble family that has existed here for obviously centuries they still own the land you guys have heard us talk about the land in front of us where all the olive trees that is owned by the Bonacorsi family apparently they own everything here Archie so Bonacorsi this, maybe uh, no the Bonacorsi family but Archie maybe, Bonacorsi maybe, maybe it's named, it was after, named them. after them I'm gonna have Who an knows? Archie Zappola one day <laughs> Archie Zappola I like that <laughs> so in any case this is a Francescan um, uh, church and the priest was brilliant. The kids were sitting up front, again, about 35 people, and he would talk about a certain topic and address the kids first and then the adults, move on to the next topic, and again, engage the kids. He was very, very brilliant. And um, then uh, the kids went up, uh, they were preparing for communion, so they do 30 minutes after church of studying, catechism, yeah. etc. And I was walking around with Vanessa's mom, onto these little cobblestone streets, narrow, narrow, narrow. In fact, driving there a few times, we had to back out to let uh, cars uh, pass by because the streets were so narrow. But you know what made me think of, you guys? The roads right now around Sicily have been destroyed because of the rain, because of uh, the you know, the floods, the everything that's been happening. And I was looking at these small cobblestone streets built probably back in the 1500s, 
in perfect condition. I'm talking perfect. Ancient ingenuity, people, ancient ingenuity. Meanwhile, the roads that were built, what, 10 years ago are all cracked, they're all trash. I mean, it was quite an experience. But back to the church, it was such a beautiful experience to go there. So I'm definitely going to go back there. And the patron saint is Santa Andrea, which is um, next week. Santa Andrea is ah. the patron saint of this. I got to read up on him. There's some kind of a special cookie that is made because he was a fisherman, I think. He was a patron. There's some kind of a special cookie that is made for him. So they have that was saints, a fun they thing. They have saints for everything. They even have a saint in charge of the patron saints, I think, right? Who's that? I don't know what his name is. <laughs> Anyways, we're talking about the, the streets. Rome, the Appian Way, is over 2,000 years old. And I was reading, actually read an article about it, Esther. That's because the engineers, it, it was 10 feet deep. To build a road there, they had different types of drainage, yeah. big stones, small stones, earth, etc. And they last forever. And you're exactly right with the asphalt. Whether it's here or the United States, by the way, it's just as bad in the United States mm -hmm. with potholes and stuff. And I don't understand why. I, probably it's because of money, I bet. <laughs> right? It's probably cheaper. Less manpower. Much cheaper. Much cheaper. You know, manpower. I mean, that's, you know, those are tough roads. But I got to tell you one other thing, that there's a natural uh, water flow, like a river that flows through there. And everything there is incredibly lush. And it's literally probably seven minutes from our house. And it's the first time I've ever gone there. Can but you walk there? Or do you have to no, take a car? No, 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 no. I no, hate no. backing up on those <laughs> small little roads. I get nervous. I, oh, speaking about driving, <laughs> today I was reading you a would, paper. You would have been like, God damn those people. Yeah, you honk, right, I would have. If you're coming here to rent a car, listen to me, okay? Get an international driver's permit. I was reading today about a postal who wrote something. Yeah, you always Two hundred and eighty-six euro fine if you just come in here on your American driver's license. Plus, a lot of places. That's three over three hundred dollar fine. Plus, a lot of places will not rent you a car you without your the, international right, driver's yeah. license. We found the yeah. place. Esther found the place in Great Britain that gives two year. They're also in America. Yeah. Two year ones. Now I just checked hours. Hours gets over August of twenty two. But if you're in the United States, you can AAA. just go into AAA. AAA it's like what twenty five. They're, they're only good for one for year. For one year, yeah. So yeah. it's perfect. You know what's uh, something very exciting happening here in Sicily? High speed train has arrived to Sicily, and it goes from Catania, Messina, Palermo, and I believe it stops in Caltanissetta as well. Uh, and it's supposed to be very fast, you know, a couple hours, uh, so, I mean, faster than the regular train. And it goes up to Rome. And I think normally Rome is about 11 hours right from here. And with this fast train, it's eight hours. And my favorite part is there's a bar in one of the cars. <laughs> Can you get uh, a sleeping an overnight thing like first class? Good uh, question. I'm just curious. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Because yes, I want to, yes, yes. Esther, last night, we're going to Rome. I'm hoping we're going in January because I I've promised her. I've never been her, in January. What? I've never been. I've been because many other months. Because Rome never has been in these January. great sales, okay, clothing sales. And there's this street called Via Nazionale, which is um, great priced stuff anyways, right? And they have these ginormous sales. I mean, because you can go on the major shopping areas, Max Mara, Dolce Gabbana, and all that stuff. They have right, sales. Right in front of the Spanish Steps. Yeah. If you walk down the right. Spanish Steps and you go all the way on that street, boy. Right. I mean, <laughs> like a $2,000 a $2, uh, outfit there, if they take 30% off, you're still broke. <laughs> but anyway, on Via Nazionale, they have all, uh, I call them the normal people stuff, where they have 50% off, okay? Everything from post Christmas sale. Post Christmas sale, they just dump stuff, especially their leather, the leather, the leather goods there, the vendors. I store my in documents in a uh, a lawyer's uh, briefcase. Mm -hmm. I bought it there over twenty years ago. The damn thing is still as good as the day I bought it's it. It's beautiful. It's yeah. absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it's a great. You one. know, you know something that I've noticed more and more here in Sicily and also in Italy because when we went to Thanksgiving two years ago with your family, I was noticing it more and more. They have Black Friday sales here. 
Black Friday. I mean, they don't have Thanksgiving, but they have Black Friday sales. It irritates sales. the crap what out the of me heck that it gets is so that? it gets so commercial. It gets so commercial. And Halloween is now a big thing too. You know, it's not All Hallows or All Saints Day. It's Halloween. They literally have Halloween here. It's so, ridiculous. But the Black it's Friday ridiculous. Black Friday sales, I'm excited about. So we'll yeah, see. I want to I want to go over there. I need to find myself a good wallet. Wallet. My I need wallet. an outfit. She needs an outfit. You need more than one outfit. Uh, hey, you know what? This top right here, I got in Rome, actually. Look at this. It's long. Can you see nice. it? Nice, yeah, it's got little It has little frivies over here. It's long, 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 and you wear it with leggings. But I got this in Rome. I like it when she gets frisky and she, she plays the cowgirl. yippee ki yay ki -yo. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Uh, are you guys enjoying this video? Would you do us a favor? Just hit us a like and let us know in the comment if you like this type of video, and uh, what else you want to hear from us, right? The weather today is great. I left New England just in the nick of time because it got real cold. The weather in New England, however, was a uh, what are those things called? Indian summer. The it was that warm. It was great. Yeah. Wow. Yep. I, it's been nice, like sixty-five, sunny here. Really perfect November. You know, after that October bomb and after right. the beginning of November, the storms that we've had. You know, we've talked about it on this channel many times. Normal November weather is back. Feels good. It's it's a. I have a little sweater on today. Mm -hmm. It's my new sweat type of sweaters now. I'm going. For, I saw this um, <laughs> sweater on. Uh, I don't know who. Somebody famous. Who do I look like? Oh yeah, that famous actor. Can't think of his name. <laughs> <laughs> who is it? Who is the guy? Wait, leave us a comment in if Pretty you guys Woman. know. Who is the guy in Pretty? Richard uh, Gere. Richard Sometimes Gere. I get confused. Oh, you are a little Richard Gere. I'm a little, fat, I'm a little <laughs> chubby gray. But, but anyways, I saw him have a sweater like this. So I've been looking for it, and guess what? I found one for like twenty-seven bucks. Nice. At Target, and I'm sure it's a disposable sweater because it's it feels, nice. it feels it almost feels like it's a sweatshirt type of a sweater. But speaking look at that; of, she has her hands all over. Speaking me of, <laughs> well, with that smell and oh, the new I clothes, I'm telling you right now, my Sicilian hat I have on. Do you have some show and tell? Oh yes, we have a show and tell today. I brought back from the states for myself a Yumi and Sicily. I hope you can read it. Is it going to be backwards Here, let this me time? See. Is this going to be backwards this time? Hmm? This is the polo shirt. This is the polo shirt. Let me just show you the embroidery. Embroidered they, it's polo really, shirt. It's really, really nice. I bought, I bought back uh, one for myself Ooh. in a size double XL. Really fit, nice. It fits me well. But the, this embroidery is really quality. And I also brought back here. Look at this. Wait, wait, wait. Yep. I also it. brought back here a uh, long sleeve t shirt. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good so, for men and women. Yep. Uh, and then we have the female t-shirts, right? Jennifer's told me, my daughter Jennifer's been shipping this stuff, so she told me, Dad, get rid of this junk because uh, <laughs> JR's coming home for Christmas. That's her husband. He's been in Holland. I need the one. We, we have caps. What else do we, we have? We have baseball caps. We have um, female women's V-neck, also yep, embroidered, yep. which I'm waiting for mine. Right. We have, of course, a t-shirt. So here's what the deal is. Okay, we're going to take off $2 off every, the whole item, inventory item, but you can't if you order it through the website. I'm not going to spend 150 bucks from the web lady to change all the prices. So if you want a T-shirt or anything, you need to message Esther direct. She'll give you or her, you direct. Like I said, Esther direct. <laughs> <laughs> you can message her on Facebook. Her email is Esther and at Gmail, or you can get or us or Facebook message me. Okay, however you want to get to her. And we'll take it off. Jennifer is in Holland until Sunday, so we'll ship Monday, okay? And the same thing, I'm doing the same thing for the books. I want to get rid of these books. I have 15 more sets of books, and that's it. Perfect. So there'll be $19 normally, okay? For these last 15, $17. But you have to message me or message Esther and out they go. All right. So, so wait a minute. I have one more yeah. thing to say. You Let's, always do you realize you always do that when I'm trying to wrap up. No, You're I don't like, want oh, to wrap one up. More thing, one more wait thing. Minute, no. I want That's, to talk. You said thing. you mentioned the Franciscan Church over there, yeah. and we have to thank Saint Francis because what? the nativity scenes that we're going to be seeing mm. uh, were, if it wasn't for Saint Francis, there wouldn't be any I didn't because know that. 
Because this, which one of the, the Always commandments? Always a little bit of tidbit from Albert. The commandments about not, uh, uh, not uh, worshiping idols. Yep. All right. So that was like a big, huge rule. Okay. Went back to Moses. Remember Moses? Yep. So, That's anyways, right. all the popes says, screw this stuff. You guys aren't going to have any more idols. And statues were considered to be idols. Mm. All right. So the, all the popes outlawed statues, except for Francis. He went. Francis was a very politically connected and powerful guy okay yeah. if you study saint francis and you're gonna go oh my god this guy he had a he he started out as a cult and you know he was really holy and by the time he, that man was done he was like the dominant player in christendom right yeah. so he went to the pope he says listen i want to i want to put when up a that? little when he was born whatever century that was the 15th century i don't know i don't remember okay. exactly when it was but the Pope says, okay, if you want to put up a little thing with the nativities, go ahead. So in a cave, he made statues of the nativity cool. scene. And that's the first nativity scene that was authorized, so to speak, by the church. And now, when we go to Rome, you would not believe the nativity scenes in the churches over there. They here just too, blow, Al. Here, here too, in Sicily. blow you away. But don't ask Massimo, <laughs> my partner, to bring one. Because he brought one to me. He kept it on his lap when I was in the States 15 years ago. He says, bring me a nice nativity scene. He did. Made in China. Made in China. It was hey, ridiculous. you know our, our guide, our local guide and friend Anna in Anna, Martha's father must be getting ready to make his nativity scenes. They have a beautiful display during Christmas. All, all of them. One of the things mm -hmm. we're going to do on our Christmas uh, Tour Let's is go gonna, see nativity scenes. We're going to go see some nativity scenes. I can't wait for my friends to come over here. Bob and Breezy to come here. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Rosemary is coming on a hug. Doug. We're going to have a Christmas party here. Um, Panettone and yeah. uh, Scacciata. And That's we're going to have, have. have Angela. Um, Make some Parmigiana. Yeah, so we I have our caterer Parmigiana. coming in over here. I have. Well, that'll be fun. Many, I'm excited watch for this, that. Watch this. How many alcohol bottles do I have now in my collection? 35. 35. I brought another just, bottle of Just up. five of them are vodka. <laughs> but I have different absolute. kinds of vodka. Absolute. No, absolute. No, yeah. you have four absolute. Four absolute. That's absolute okay, is a honey. damn good everyday type of vodka. Okay. But I, thanks to Jim, he turned me on to Angel's Envy uh, bourbon from uh, uh, Kentucky. Yeah. And when I was in New Hampshire, stayed in New Hampshire, I went to the liquor store there. They had a bottle of Angel's Envy. You know what he turned me into? You know what? The uh, almond wine. Oh my God! For Castelmola, yeah. which is the little town above Tarmina, I've never in my life had almond wine this delicious. And you know what you do? You take a little bit of a peel of an orange, put it in there, and it accentuates the flavor. Oh no! Yeah, yeah. Oh, I've had almond I wine. I like getting before, the biscotti, the hot biscotti. Oh, that's dun good too. And dunking it in is, is terrific. Yeah, Ooh, that's a good idea. So, anyways, I'm back. And uh, I'm, I'm very happy to be back. <laughs> it was a wonderful time going to the United States, but I won't be going back there until I'm. If we can find a place to rent for two for two weeks, maybe even three weeks in August, I got to get out of Dodge over here in August. It's, it's too damn hot. Way too hot. So if anybody you. knows a place I can rent up in the Seabrook, New Hampshire, Salisbury, Hampton Beach area for a couple of weeks, uh, will you please let us know? Cheap. Yeah. I don't want to spend. $2,000 a week. Are they out of their mind? <laughs> <laughs> On Let that note, place, okay? happy, 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 happy Thanksgiving. Thank you for your support of you, me, and Sicily. Make sure you hit the happy like button. Happy Thanksgiving. Subscribe to this channel, and we'll see you next time. The, thing, the Macy's Thanksgiving parade is going to start now, isn't it, Esther? <laughs> 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 so, Benedigo.